outside corner with an inside corner. Uh, I'm going to start with my measurement. Um, to do a good miter, you want to have at least an inch or two of no breaks in the rows. Like you have a break here, 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 and here. So with that, we'll start our outside return here. I want a short piece because I know I'm going to have a seam right next to the outside. We're going to set the saw to 45 degrees. We're going to line up our first 45 on the stone just in front of these bricks. So we'll put our 45 right there. You can see the 45 that we just cut. Next using the same piece that we cut from, we're going to start our inside angle. We want to make sure that we leave a quarter of an inch for our mortar because uh, we're using a half by half inch trowel. Next we're going to take just this divot out here, cutting it on an angle right across there. So the last cut I did, you might have noticed that I had the face of the piece down. The reason I had the face of the piece down is because if I would have the face of the piece out, I would have been all the most all the way through, and sometimes you get hung up over here. So the face down sometimes gives you a, a little wobble. So I shimmed in a piece of cement board to make sure that the whole product had a nice, flat, even cut. All right, so that's the end of the project. Play with your mortar bed until you get it just right, but it makes for a nice, tight seat.